Hey guys, me again, as usual. Um, first I'm gonna apologize for my rambling last video. Um, that was supposed to be a lot shorter, but I just get going and you know, so sorry about that. But, uh, this is going to be a sort of not really November to be read because to be to be read piles put a lot of I put a lot of pressure on myself when I make those videos so this is basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the books that I am currently reading so I definitely want to finish this month and the others if I get to them fantastic if I don't it's okay it's okay um, and the reason that I'm not putting as much pressure on myself, again, is because of this job. Because, yeah, some days I just feel like coming home and sleeping or watching TV or a movie or just doing something mindless. Because um, I pretty much, I read a lot for work. Um, not good fiction stuff, but more like um, a lot of computer I look at a computer screen all day long, basically, and I have to read a lot of detailed stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, um, the books that I'm currently reading. Uh, this first one you will see in a haul. Um, yeah, but it is Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. Um, I started reading this uh, right after I bought it. Um, I bought it not a, about a, mm, six days ago, and granted, I'm only on page 78 uh, in that six days, but again, it's because of my job, because basically what I've been doing is I've been taking a half an hour of lunch, because um, I get an hour for lunch, so half an hour of that time I read, um, and I love this so much so far. It is... Flavia's character is just, uh, because this is, the main character is called Flavia Deleuze, and, uh, she's just, she's brilliant. She is 11, and she talks like she's 50, and I really love the references, because this book is set in, uh, 1950, so, um, a lot of the stuff that's modern for them is obviously not for us, but it's just, it's great. Um, his writing is gorgeous, and he wrote this, I think, um, he was 70 when this got published, and he's written, like, four or five more since then. Like, it's amazing, and I'm loving it so much that even though I'm not finished with it yet, um, the other three, I think there's three more that are in paperback. I'm gonna, uh, put those on my Christmas list, and the fourth one is coming out in January, but I really want to wait until it's in paperback, um, so I'll wait to buy that one, but the other three are going on my Christmas list. It's so good. Um, and next we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, I'm not very far into this. I'm like five or ten pages, but I am bound and determined to read it this month. Um, yeah, that needs to happen. Um, and this other one, you guys are going to laugh because you're going to be like, haha, you're not going to finish that. It is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Um... Yes, I borrowed this off a friend uh, because I saw the miniseries and just, I think it's from like 2007, and I just fell in love with it. It's got uh, Clemens Posey playing Natasha, and it, I fell so, so in love with it. The story is just, it's amazing, um, and to me it's so much better and yeah, I know I'm resting this on my shoulder, but it's because it's heavy. Um, <laughs> but uh, to me, this story is so much better than Anna Karenina, um, based on based on having seen both of those adaptations. I like War and Peace a lot better, just because 
Anna Karenina is really depressing and the characters seem, they all kind of seem selfish and, and I mean, maybe if I read the book, which I own, so I need to read it, but maybe when I read the book, I'll feel differently, but for now, it was enjoyable, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is so brilliant. And that's how I felt when I watched this adaptation. It is, the characters to me are so much more, um, likable. Uh, like, they all make mistakes, just like in Anna Karenina, but, I don't know, I felt much more willing to forgive them than I was in Anna Karenina. I don't know why. I, I really don't. But, yeah, so I borrowed this off of my friend, um, right after I saw the series, uh, because this is the, um, Pever and... Pever and... Volkonsky? Volkonsky edition? Um, and they are, um... They have translated this, Anna Karenina, um, I, they've also translated an edition of, uh, Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pastern Pasternak, um, which is on my Christmas list, um, and people just say that they're definitely the best translators for, uh, Russian literature. So, yeah, that's why I borrowed this off of her, and I'm only 36 pages in, and I borrowed this like a month ago, so I'm supposed to be a lot farther, but the thing is, is that what I'm planning on doing is spending, um, well, the rest of today, once I clean my room, and all of tomorrow, uh, reading this, and also just any kind of, basically I'm probably going to spend my weekends reading this, so I'm hoping to finish it by the end of November um, based on taking two days every week to read it, because it is giant. It's 1,270 pages, which is huge, um, but, yeah, I'm hoping maybe if I read, uh, like 200 pages every day, I mean, today, obviously, that's not gonna happen. Today, I'll be lucky if I get 100 pages read, but maybe 200 pages for every other weekend day. And also, I'm going on a trip later this month um, for Thanksgiving, so I'll probably bring this beast with me. Um, actually, no, I probably won't because it's my friend's and I don't want to lose it or have something happen to it on this trip. So, yeah, I lied, but hopefully I'll finish it. Anyway, that was a long spiel. Um. And, yeah, so those are the three that I really want to finish this month, and if I get to the others, awesome. If not, that's okay. And the others are, these three are library books, um, which is why I'm really hoping to get to them. Actually, one of them I'm definitely going to get to because I've already, I've had it checked out for a while, and that is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. Um... Yeah, I just, I need to read this, because it's a library book, and this is, um, it's on its, like, second checkout for me, so. Yep. And then, Everything Happens Today by Jesse Browner. Um, I believe I read the synopsis to you guys in my haul. Um, if not, let me know, and I will, uh, put a description in... The comments. Somebody comment on it and, you know, let me know if I actually did that or not, because I don't remember, but I think I did. Uh, but I don't want to, like, cheat you guys out of a summary if you want one. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this book. And then we have Gourmet Rhapsody by Muriel Barbary. Um, again, this is the prequel, I want to say, to um, Elegance of the Hedgehog, which I own, um, but it's loaned out, so I really want to read this first, um, especially because people say this one isn't as good, so I want to read this first, and if I love it, then I know I'm gonna just completely freak out over Elegance of the Hedgehog, and that's what I'm hoping is gonna happen, so yeah. Yep. 
And then these last three. All of what I just said, uh, which is doubtful, but maybe based on the fact that I'm reading War and Peace. Uh, probably not, but we'll see. Um, but they are Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, just because it, yeah, needs to happen. Um, the President's Hat by Antoine Lorraine. Um, I freaked out enough over this in that video. Um, if you guys want to know about this and you haven't seen that video, it's entitled The President's Hat and Thank You. Um, so go watch that, uh, that video of mine if you want to know about this book. And then, last but not least, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, I also did my own video about this and about the story in general. Um, if you guys want to look at that, uh, to know how much I love this story and how much I'm really looking forward to reading the book. So, yes. So all in all, nine books, only three of which I am, well, four, four of which I am making mandatory for me to finish in November, and if I get to the others, great. If not, I'll read them in December. And yes, I realize that there's a giant whole um, chunk of missing books that you guys are like, wait, what about these? And you're probably wondering, and that is the rereading of Harry Potter, which I did not get to this month, and I'm really ashamed of myself for that. But, um, and I know that they aren't in this TBR, so you guys are like, wait, what? Why? Um, and it's because these are books that I just really feel like I need to read, and I'm also in a huge classics mood right now. Um, but I'm hoping to get to that reread in December or January. We'll have to see. Um, but I'm hoping for December because I really do want to reread them. I just, when I get in a mood to read a specific genre, it's very hard for me to get out of that. And that genre right now is classics. So yeah, we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know that that wasn't your average TBR, and I'm sorry, but, um, you know, I just, I feel like when I do normal TBRs, I put a lot of pressure on myself, so that's why I'm specifically saying in this one, I will not, that if I don't get to all of these, I'm giving myself the okay that that is alright. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to comment on any of these books, feel free, but just spoiler free, please, with the comments, because um, I've had people comment where they have spoiled something for me, and I've been like, oh, why'd you do that? Um, but yes, and if you guys are new to this, uh, new to these videos, and you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do, um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.